No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with color finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Hi, we're here at the uh, Zeiss booth at uh, NAB 2015, and I'm here with uh, Rich to tell us a little bit about uh, what Zeiss has got for us. Hey, Dave, how are you doing? Uh, we're showing right now the, our third and final compact zoom on a red Epic 6K sensor. And we're promoting uh, the fact that our compact zooms cover a larger image circle size. So up until the show, the red 6K was the, really the biggest sensor available on the market, but up a 34 and a half millimeter image diagonal. Our compact zooms and our compact primes cover that without a problem. We cover 43.3, so not an issue. So we're, we're kind of promoting the fact that our lenses will work with cameras with bigger sensors to come, and that uh, you can invest in our lenses and they don't become obsolete as camera technology changes. So we were all a little bit surprised yesterday at the show when Red introduced kind of the next generation. We were aware that uh, they were bringing out a body upgrade, but they also announced an upgrade to the sensor as well. So in December, for, for customers who are moving in that kind of direction, they'll have an option for an 8K. And RED is achieving a higher kind of image resolution, not by packing more pixels into the sensor, but they went with a physically bigger chip. So it's a roughly 20 by 40 millimeter uh, chip size. And that diagonal will still fit within the image circle of our compact zooms. So we'll have the world's only cine style parfocal um, zooms that are going to cover that sensor size. So a great benefit of our lenses, um, in fact, you can kind of make that investment, and as the cameras cha change, you know, your lenses just don't become obsolete on you. We also have uh, another unique feature in that the mounts are interchangeable. So like our compact primes, you have a choice of five mount options. The mounts are user interchangeable. Right now we have it rigged with a PL. Uh, behind me on the FS7, we have a 28 to 80 with an E-mount. How, how easy are those uh, mounts to change? Really easy, it's, uh, it's about a five minute change. There's some shimming involved, so when you first set it up on a camera, if you want really cor uh, to correctly set the back focus, and back focus becomes critical if you really want to rack the focus out to infinity, and you want to be in focus at the infinity mark, and if you want to really use the focus scales for accurate focusing, the lens has to be properly adjusted for back focus. So the shims provide you that micro adjustment, and that's a kind of an, an initial setup that you can do on camera. First time you're doing it, it's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to do, and you're gonna look at the monitor, and you're going to focus on a resolution chart, and you go, go through a little sequence that we, uh, that we have up on our website, you just follow the steps out. Now once that's done, that combination of shims and mount for that lens and, and camera stays the same. So, so people interested in, in, in renting out their lenses and having a lens rental package can, can offer it for, for every mount that they want to, uh, and just buy one set of lenses. Exactly, so if you want micro four thirds, you want an E-mount, you want to go out to a Canon EF, you want the PL, um, and even F-mount, which is kind of interesting because uh, our compact prime with F-mount with the Metabone speed booster adapter onto like a, a GH4. It's, awesome. pretty, it's a pretty cool combination. All right. And uh, what, what is the price point for these lenses? So this one uh, has a list price of $23,900. Uh, the 28 to 80 and the 70 to 200 are 19900 And then we have a three lens zoom package for 59900 It's about a 6% discount. Okay. And uh, the, uh, the interchangeable mounts, about what do those run? For? About uh, 390 apiece. For, uh, per mount type per lens. Uh, last year we introduced a new family of full frame E-mount lenses for the Sony A7 platform. So it's a, uh, it's a full frame E-mount, communicates with the body so the metadata gets transferred over, but it's a manual focus and it has a manual iris. So for filmmaking applications we have the ability to de-click the aperture with a small turn of this set screw. So we have one third clicks, one third stop clicks, or continuous. So right now I have it set up as a continuous so I can pull iris as I'm filming. And um, so if I'm panning from a bright scene to a dark scene, I can open and close the iris without seeing abrupt exposure changes on screen.